All right, 25 minutes before 8, ANC MP and former Northwest Premier Supra Mahumopelo is expected to respond to his suspension from the ANC in a media briefing today. Now, this follows yesterday's announcement that both he and the acting provincial secretary of the ANC Women's League, Bitsa Lenkopane, had been suspended for five years for misconduct. They allegedly convened a parallel meeting to that of the interim provincial committee last year. Let's make a little bit sense of this and other political developments in the Northwest province. We are joined on the line by political analyst and associate professor at the Northwest University, Professor Barry Hanyane. Good to have you, Prof. Thanks very much for being with us this morning. Good morning, Leanne. Good morning to your viewers. Let's get your reaction. What, what did you think of, uh, of yesterday's developments? Well, it was somewhat expected since uh, Mahoma Pilu's membership was, was suspended at some stage. And it comes as no surprise overall from a political perspective that this decision needed to be taken at a time when the party itself needs to rally around the proposed ideas of unity, of introspection, of consolidating its support base regardless of which province one is looking at this issue. So overall, uh, one would have expected this to happen, although uh, Mahoma Pilu's uh, demeanor, in a sense, would have presented a different picture altogether of perhaps somebody who, who is untouchable. But again, the the IPC in this instance, together with the disciplinary committee, may have had a different view to say, after all, he is just a member uh, and perhaps a member in good standing. And in, in this instance, he needed to, to abide and comply with the party's regulations, especially when it comes to issues of promoting discipline. Yeah, so five-year suspension is, what, is what's been handed down. Uh, yeah. He also, of course, has been given 21 days to appeal this to the National Disciplinary Committee. This, I imagine, would be his next move. What, what do you think? I mean, we are, we are waiting to hear the reaction uh, yeah. from him, but obviously yeah. this is, these, are, these are some of the options available to him. Well, he also has an option to, to be defiant. Um, although it might be ill-advised, he, he might want to go that route, given, once again, the, the amount of support that he enjoys. It, must, it might not necessarily be substantial, but again, if, if he really wants to, to portray these statesmen like a, a figure being seen as a genuine leader, I think following due process would be the main advice that he, he should be given. Appeal the decision, uh, subject yourself to the processes of the party, and after all, the constitution of the party does allow him to appeal the decision. Again, he might find comfort in the fact that such an appeal will then have to be taken to a national structure. And who knows? Uh, uh, he might find a lukewarm reception there and present his case afresh. And in the end, the sanction might even be lighter than what he has received at the provincial level. Let's talk to uh, the support that yeah. he has, because, you know, this has been something that's been spoken to. Obviously, uh, we're not talking within the ranks of the party. We'll get there now. But, but on the ground, because yeah. many people saying that he is the Northwest, that he, uh, you know, presses the buttons in the Northwest, even though he, you know, he, he still had a suspension. But yeah. what he said goes. And on the ground, people are, are massively in support of him. What was yeah. the reaction on the ground yesterday once this news came out? I mean, did we see this groundswell that, that had been spoken to? Not, not, not necessarily. I had a chance to speak to one of his major followers yesterday here in the province. It, 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 there was an element of shock and awe uh, as to this decision. Perhaps, once again, it speaks to his demeanor, as I said in passing earlier on, that he, here, here is a person who rightly so is seen as the face of the ANC in the province. And let's not forget, at a time where the current premier does not enjoy the same following, the same political support, 
obviously given his background as an administrator. So, so by and large, this tells us that there could be a political leadership vacuum uh, in, in, in the Northwest. And who is likely to fill this position remains somewhat of a political mystery as we go ahead. No person does rightly so enjoy support like him, despite his conduct, which has resulted in this sanction by the Provincial Disciplinary Committee. Uh, Prof, isn't the, the Premier, uh, Job Mohoro, on suspension? Isn't he still suspended? Yeah. But he's defying this, and he's still in that position of Premier. Yes, yes. that's where the confusion comes in. And it's the kind of confusion that is leaving supporters and everyone else wondering, what, what was the initial sanction all about? Was it necessary in the first instance? And, and how severe is that, suspend, uh, uh, that sanction of suspension? Be that as it may, uh, remember he delivered his SOPA State of the Province address. He is pretty much still at the, at the helm of the administrative component of, of managing this province. So, so it, it does somewhat confuse everyone else to say, but is he, is he, is he in, in that position, in the capacity of being an ANC deployee? What exactly is going on here? Mm. And, and one can easily draw the contrast between that as well as the, the Super Mahoma Pelu sanction. There seems to be a huge gap in terms of interpretation and implementation. You know, Prof, we, we, we're talking to what's happening um, on a political level and we hear about mm -hmm. all of the different factions and we hear mm -hmm. about who's been suspended, who hasn't been suspended, the confusion, the leadership yeah. vacuums. What's happening on the ground? I mean, let's, let, let's be honest. We can yeah. sit and talk about yeah. the, the yeah. politics of the day, which yeah. is exactly what's stealing center stage, and yet the, the derelict state that the province finds itself in, I mean, you yeah. live there. What, what is yeah. it like? Who's yeah. leading at the moment? Yeah. Well, the preoccupation in, in the public discourse here is pretty much uh, issues of service delivery. Uh, you will recall in the last financial year, all 22 municipalities did not do well. There's, 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 there's a serious backlog on issues of service delivery. Secondly, it's the much publicized cases of corruption. You know, you're going back to issues of Mediosa, especially the health department that's in shambles. All of these issues are, are, are dominating public talks. But when it comes to, to the ANC itself, remember, we, we still have opposition parties here. So if one focuses on the ANC, the issue of factionalism on the ground is, is pretty much obvious. Mm -hmm. um, so, so people need now to sit back and say, how do we realign political fault lines? Do we join one faction and leave the other? And by the way, Supra is at the heart of, of that factional arrangement. And it will be interesting going forward as to how do these allegiances shift from one uh, plate to the other. Yeah, and that's, that, that leads us to this, this whole decision. And, you know, some have called this more of a factional move to oust mm -hmm. members of a particular faction. As you, mm -hmm. as you rightfully have said, I mean, um, Super has been very vocal about the fact that he, that he is a, uh, a former President Jacob Zuma supporter. I mean, he's yeah. been quoted yeah. as saying, you touch Zuma, you touch us. Um, Ace Mahashule has come out in massive support of Supra, saying that he is the Northwest province and, you know, yeah. basically... Um, you lose the Northwest if you lose Supra. So, I mean, this is, you know, there's definitely wranglings happening there. But let's talk about this, uh, the RET faction and where this leaves it. I mean, it just seems that the power is being pulled away, or is it? No, it is. Uh, Lian, you are so right. Um, let, let's go back to Mr. Julius Malema's analogy uh, pose the issue of step aside and affecting the current SG of the party, uh, Mr. Ernst uh, Mahashule. He, 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 he spoke of giving the Ramaphosa camp uh, two points over nothing to the RET. I think it's four now. I think, I think the, the Ramaphosa camp or faction would be extremely happy at the developments right now, because it simply means uh, the, the pathway to realizing uh, some 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 kind of promises made under the banner of Ramaphoria would then have to be kept intact and be realized, and and there's less stumbling block now having 
got rid of the main lieutenants or, or, or captains, if you want, of the RIT forces. And indeed, Supra and Ace are at the heart of that. Uh, obviously, other persons like your Karl Niehaus and others have been very close uh, uh, to, to that faction. So this then paves the way for, for the Ramaphosa uh, camp to begin then to really get their hands dirty. Mm. Whether there is a sense of agency to that or not, uh, perhaps that's the second argument. Yeah. But what this then does, it gives that, that camp a leeway to actually impose themselves in the party. All right. I'm, I'm going to ask you a very quick response <laughs> to this. We need to get to this interview. But uh, the, 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 the also the, the talk that he now has to be under a mentorship of former President Thabo Mbeki for about three years. I mean, that's, that's the talk about the town. Is, is, I mean, what is your reaction to that? Very quickly. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's an embarrassment. Uh, to, to be fair to to Mr. Mahoma Pelu, um, really, it's 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 as if his leadership skills and and ability and sense of argument is being questioned, albeit uh, being found to be on the wrong side of the ANC's own con- constitution. It, it's a way of of embarrassing him. It's a way of sending a strong message to his faction that you are not above the ANC. The ANC will ultimately retain that sense and, and source of power. So, so, so it's nothing short of an embarrassment. All right, Prof, we we'll leave it there. Prof uh, uh, Barry Hanyani, a political analyst and associate professor at the Northwest University, uh, the Department of Public Management and Governance, talking to us about the announcement about Supra Mahomopilo. All right.